Okay, so what I've got on my screen here is the output from a bash script that uh, does make some arc shell calls and uh, the game is war. Um, originally I wanted to write maybe roulette and then allow um, people to set up betting strategies in a config file and then run the game in the background and it would test your betting strategy. And one of the things I also wanted to do was um, simulate the amount of time it would take to implement say a betting strategy. So there's all these betting strategies out there. One that uh, I'm familiar with from way back is called Oscar's Grind. And um, the problem with it is it's a very, it, 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 it really works well in terms of uh, you, you usually will uh, at some point be up and, and you can kind of grind away and make a little money uh, using this bet, betting strategy if the odds of the game are, uh, you know, very, very close between you and the uh, dealer. But um, the problem with it is it takes a lot of turns. And so you would spend all of your uh, time uh, trying to win that money. And of course, as soon as you, it's, it's very obvious too. So if you ever tried to use that in a casino, uh, they would, they would know right away what you're doing. And they'd probably kick you out. Uh, it's not illegal to use, but it's just, it's a system that uh, is advantageous to you to some degree. So, uh, so what I wanted to do was play around with different betting strategies and maybe set up a roulette game and then have it test that. And then I would chart it and graph it and do all this kind of cool stuff in ArcShell. Um, but I decided that might be a little too hard to write. So I, I wrote the card game War instead. Um, and that was actually harder to write than I thought. And this gets into why is automation difficult? Automation is difficult because even writing a simple card game like War is actually difficult. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you in a second what I mean about that. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run this. Uh, it's called War Daemon. And it is in this ArcShell app directory. This would be considered a delivered application. So when you download ArcShell, you would get Wardaemon because it's in the ArcShell home app directory. Um, now, I scrub, when I do put out the uh, deliverables out here, I scrub this out of there. I just like to keep it there for my own development purposes. But um, so I've got this Wardaemon.shell. I'm going to run it. So it's starting the new game, shuffling the deck, and now it's dealing. And you're seeing the number of cards in each player's hand. So you have red and blue. Uh, so red looks like they're about to lose very quickly here. Yeah. Uh, let's try it again. <clears throat> so what I want to figure out is what is the average number of turns or rounds it takes to uh, play the game of war. Now, mathematically, there's probably a way to figure that out. Um, but I want to do it just programmatically by uh, running this around the clock on a server and uh, storing the data and things like that. I'm also going to use the game to kind of show you what you can do with ArcShell, how you can add uh, instrumentation, logging, uh, debugging, uh, how we do refactoring, things like that. So how you do optimization. Um, one of the problems with this game is it's single player or single server only or single user server. You can't run it in the background and run it in the foreground. So, you know, how would we make changes to it so that you could do that? Um, and what are some of the uh, flaws of that potential change of those changes? Like if you're using process ID, is there a flaw in that? Is there a problem with that? Um, so I'll, we'll be looking at things like that. Uh, this is, so this series is just going to be called War. And uh, whatever I think of that I want to show you, I'll do that with this series. So you see we're up to uh, 330 rounds right now. Now my kids did some analysis for me and some timing and stuff. And they figured out that it takes about five seconds to play a hand. It's about 20 seconds every time there's a war. So again, what I'll do in some refactoring is I'll come in and I'll add that output. We'll do some logging uh, so that we're logging the, the ends of the game. The, the games will keep, keep stats on all that. So I'll show you how to do that. So this would just be considered like a script in your environment. You're going to bring it into ArcShell, and then you're going to start improving it, maybe breaking it apart. You know, you could uh, make a library that just does the shuffling and the cards and returns a, a deck, and it can return. And you could extend that and say, you know, I want to be able to specify the number of decks that it returns. I want to specify whether jokers are included or not, all that kind of stuff. I could show you how to write all that. And obviously, this is not real world. Uh, but you can do the same things for your automation in your in your space. This is just a little more interesting uh, for most people. So that one took 489 rounds. Based on playing this uh, a number of times, I, I'm, I'm feeling like the average is somewhere around 500. 
um, which is, I think a hundred would be, every hundred rounds would be about 10 minutes. So the average game of war is probably going to take 50 minutes and I could probably go Google that and find that out. Okay, so I'm not going to get into the code in this video. We're already at five minutes. We'll just end it here. Uh, one more thing. I'm just going to tell you shell scripters out there. Uh, if you run this in bash, it runs a lot slower than it does in corn shell. And I like corn shell. Um, and I've really never had a problem in getting corn shell installed or using it as my default shell. Everything I've written in arc shell is bash compliant and corn shell compliant. So it runs both. It can run in both. That's the nice thing about it. So you can also, when you schedule this job, you can just put it if then else statement. You could say if corn shell is present, run it with corn shell. You take this uh, sh shebang out of there and you just call it uh, from the command line with the corn shell. Or you could do that with, uh, and you say if corn shell is not present, then I use bash. But it runs a lot faster. So just a very basic optimization. Uh, if you're doing a lot of reading and writing from files, which this is doing, Corn shells faster than uh, Bash. Awk beats both of them uh, by by miles. Uh, if you really got something complicated, you want to do it in Awk. Um, I'm getting ready to write a Craigslist uh, monitor parser. It's another thing I'm going to include, not include, but I'll be showing you how to uh, schedule that. And we're going to use some of the libraries in Arc Shell to basically monitor Craigslist. It's going to alert me when things come up that I want. Yes, there are some Craigslist built-in alerting, but I'm um, also going to do it for gov deals, I think, uh, but there might be things that I wanted to check more frequently on. So I'm going to show how to write a basically a, a parser in awk, basically, and we'll schedule it and we'll do logging and we'll do alerting and all that kind of cool stuff. So we're going to do this all with ArcShell. ArcShell is a development platform framework for automation. Uh, I ship it with some really cool stuff already running and um, we add more all the time and you can add more, you can contribute and uh, we're going to... Um, that's all I got. So anyway, well, thank you.